All right, so I need a list of really rich people that you think I could con into becoming their video editor. So let me know, because your boy needs some money. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to Everyday Nerd. I'm your host, Zack Snyder. If you're new around here on Yen, we pull from every corner of nerd culture, talk about anything and everything that piques my interest. Oscar season is over, but we're in the midst of my yearly tradition to look at all of the best picture nominees of the year. As always, I don't really care about the awards, except for this year, because Parasite won Best Picture. Let's go! I'm sorry, we're getting ahead of ourselves. I've already taken a look at Marriage Story. We still have eight more of these films to go before I can rank them all. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the foreign film that got nominated for so many categories this year. It won a lot of awards, it got Best Picture, it's the highest rated film on Letterboxd Gold. Follow me on Letterboxd. Let's go take a look at <laughs> Parasite. What? Okay. I'm not sure. I'm If you don't know anything about it, 2019's Parasite is a South Korean black comedy thriller directed and written by Bong Joon-ho that is about a poor family who begins working for a much wealthier family and in the process finds themselves in a particularly strange situation. Parasite also got nominated for Best Directing, Best Editing, Best International Film, Best Production Design, and Best Original Screenplay. There's not a whole lot that I can say about this film without going into spoilers, but I can easily say that it's one of my favorite films of 2019. So if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend going and watching it first. I don't want to spoil literally anything about the story. I already gave you enough about it with the little brief synopsis. So go check it out first, then you can come back and hear me gush over it. The word masterpiece. That's right. We're going to start it off like a video essay. <laughs> The word masterpiece may get tossed around a lot when talking about entertainment, but as far as 2019 films go, there's nothing more deserving than Parasites. It's this grand culmination of genres. At its core, it can be considered a thriller, but it's just as much a comedy. It's got elements of heist films while also dipping its toes into horror. And while this sounds like it could be jarring, it's far from that. Because while the surface may encapsulate these different narrative techniques, it's the underlying themes of class struggles woven throughout the film in so many masterful metaphors that even when everything comes together, it makes any and all tonal shifts just feel 100% natural. It's full of these brilliant acting performances. I specifically loved Song Kang Ho and Park So Dom, but honestly, everybody just did such an incredible job here. Each performance just has a certain rhythm to it that is very much complemented by the editing. If you haven't seen it yet, and for some reason you don't care about spoilers, and you decided the movie got subtitles, so I'm not gonna read it. <sighs> I'm about to spoil parts of it, so be warned. Parasite is about the Kims, a lower class family who successfully cons their way into working in the home of an extremely wealthy family named the Parks. It all starts when a friend of Ki Woo's is studying abroad and he recommends him as a tutor to Mrs. Park. As soon as he gets this job, Ki Woo makes up a different persona for his sister who starts teaching the Park family's younger son. Then they get the Park's personal driver fired, making way for Mr. Kim to take that job, and finally, the big moment in the film is when the Kim family get the housekeeper fired, making way for Mrs. Kim to take that job. And it's in this scene that the absolute madness and brilliance of everything just come together so well. Sure, at this point in the film, Parasite has been thoroughly entertaining. This is one of the very few films in recent memory that I've been able to watch all the way through and not be bored by the story. Right, because I'm talking about all of the filmmaking techniques, the script, the editing, the acting, the cinematography, the sound design, all of that is great. And I'm gonna be talking about that more as we get through this video. But the story itself too, like this is why film should be watched, is for the story. All of these things should complement the story. And that's why this film does so well. It's at this point in the film when there's this five minute montage 
where the original housekeeper gets fired. That's just so enthralling and it has to do with literally everything working so well together. Even on a second watch, Parasite continues to be an engaging film with even more wild ideas that you can pick apart and figure out and find in the background. And it, it's, it's so good. The execution is just so near perfect. I love it so much. Now I talked about metaphors and class warfare and these are the themes that make this truly a masterpiece to me because you can have an engaging film where everything works well but if it's not talking about anything, if it's not saying anything, then it's not really a masterpiece to me. But that's really where the final piece of the puzzle comes in. Almost every scene there's something representing the financial level of certain characters compared to other characters on the screen at that moment in time. The film starts with us looking out a window and then pans down, showing you just how physically low the Kim family is. And all throughout the film, we continue to see these location shifts. From the first time Ki Wu enters the park estate, he has to ascend upstairs to even get to their house. And when the climax of the film happens, causing the entire Kim family to scatter like cockroaches, another reference in this film. We see them running in the rain, continuously descending further and further away from the wealthy family. This is a film all about the differences between classes. We see it in the dialogue. We see it in the actions of the characters. And we see it in the actual geography, which is why Parasite also got a nomination for production design because it's absolutely incredible. Now, I don't mean to get all analyzy here. This is not usually what I do on Your Everyday Nerd, but I really, love this film and when I love something I want to get a little bit deeper and that's how it is with this film. Honestly, I could get even deeper with it for everything that Bong Joon-ho has given us. From the scholar's rock at the beginning of the film to the use of Morse code, the dynamics between the Kims and the housekeeper and her husband, the way the rain affected the rich and the poor in entirely different ways. With its highly layered screenplay, its successfully paced narrative structure, the performances, the editing, everything. It's just really dope to see a piece of art like this in real time and be a part of the conversation because I genuinely believe that this is something that's going to be studied for a very long time. So did Parasite deserve its nominations? You, you tell me. It got four Oscars. It's the first foreign film to ever win a Best Picture. Bong Joon-ho is the first man to ever tie with Walt Disney from back in the 50s to get four Oscars in one night. Parasite is amazing. Go check it out if you haven't already. I already want to go watch it again and I've already seen it twice. And I guess you'll have to find out if there's any other Best Picture nominees that are better than that this year. Stay tuned for the ranking video where I where I give though that, that little bit of a secret sauce. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, go hit that like button. If you're you didn't like it, you can hit that dislike button. Let me know down in the comments, what are your thoughts on Parasite? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Did you did you think it deserved Best Picture? Did you think it deserved any of the other nominations? Personally, I think it deserved all the nominations. Personally, I think it should have won all of them. It did almost win all of them except for production design. And honestly, it could have won production design even though I liked the one that it did win production design. This one could have won it too. I wouldn't have been mad. In the meantime, thank you again for watching. I will see you tomorrow where we talk about another Best Picture. Until then, hope you have a great day. Goodbye.